Welcome to part six of Oracle Application Express Apex Regions Forms. Let's log back into our Apex workspace. There's two ways we can create a new region. Create a new region on an existing page or create a new page. I'm going to go ahead just for example's sake and create a new page. We go into Application Builder and edit our application. Create a new page. Click on Form. Previous lessons have looked at the most common types of forms that you'll put on an Apex page. Form on a table or view, form on a table with a report, master detail form. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the last common type of form you see in a typical Apex application, and that's a tabular form. The other types of forms are pretty uncommon. They're very powerful, but unfortunately, we don't have enough time to go through them right now. Form on a procedure, form on a SQL query, and summary page will not be covered as part of this lesson. Form on a web service and form and report on a web service we'll take a look at later on when we look at how to interface web services with Oracle Application Express. So let's select a tabular form. Tabular forms are real powerful for giving end users the ability to enter or update a lot of different records at one time. We're going to query from our movies table. We don't want movie ID as part of the form since that's generated by a sequence. So I'm going to select that and remove it. You can see here in the drop down box, I have the ability to specify what type of operations I want to give my end users. Even if I choose something here that I want to change later on, I'm not locked into it. I can always go back into my form and make the necessary adjustments. For now, I'm going to leave all of the operations available to me update, insert, and delete. The next page of the wizard asks me to specify my primary key. Movie ID is the primary key for this table, so I don't need to use row ID. I have to specify how my primary key is going to be updated. As you can see, I have an existing trigger on that table, so I'm going to just leave existing trigger here on this page of the wizard. I can specify which columns I'm going to give the end users the ability to update. In this example, I'm going to leave all of the non-primary key fields as updatable columns in my form. I can change any of the page or region attributes, like the page number that Apex uses to internally represent this page. I can change the page name from update to update movie records. I can change the name of the region. Instead of calling it something generic like tabular form, I'm going to use the same thing here. And I can change the templates. Later on, we're going to talk about how powerful it is to use templates. For now, I'm going to leave the defaults. I'll also put a breadcrumb on the page. It automatically updates the entry name for me based on what I give the page name. I'm not going to use tabs on this page, so I'll leave Do Not Use Tab selected and click Next. I always have to specify where I want to branch to if the user hits certain buttons on my page. If they hit the Cancel button, I want to redirect them right back to where I am. So I'm going to put in 23. And the same thing with Submit. I can change the button labels if I want to. So just for fun, I'm going to change Delete to Remove Record. Just like all of the wizards that we've looked at, there's a confirmation screen at the end. I click Create, and the page is generated for me automatically. I can run the page, and you can see this is a different type of form than what we've seen in the past. This form allows end users to see and modify multiple records at the same time. So I can go in here and change the note field, let's say, for five different records. Oracle Application Express is smart enough to know which records I've modified and just update those records. So when I click Submit, you can see I get five rows updated, zero rows inserted along the top of the screen. I can then change those back to what they were originally, and again, Oracle Application Express knows which records I've modified, so it doesn't update everything. It just updates those five rows that I've made changes on. In some of the forms in the past, we made it easier for end users to input data by changing fields into lists of values, so we can limit the types of things that they can enter. You can see I don't have that for category or rating here, but I have defined the list of values that's part of this workspace, so I can use it on this page. Since I'm logged in as a developer, I have this Edit Page menu here at the bottom of the screen. So if I click on Edit Page, I can go in and look at my report columns that are part of my Update Movie Records region. If I want to use the Category LOV that I've created in the past, I can double-click on Category, 
and say that I want that represented differently on the form than what it defaults to. So it defaults to a text field, but I don't want it to be a text field. I want it to be a select list based on a named list of value. A named list of value is nothing more than a pre-created list of values that I have as part of my workspace. So I can select list here, go down to list of values, and say I want to use this as my category LOV. I don't want to display extra values and I don't want to display null. I click on apply changes and I'm taken to this column attributes page. This can be a little confusing for junior developers. We are creating a form, yet for this region definition, you can see that I'm given report attributes, not form attributes. What we're doing here is really combining two different types of objects inside of our Oracle Application Express environment. We're creating a form that has report attributes associated with it. We've already modified category, so let's modify rating also. If I go down to rating, there's the pencil icon here on the left-hand side of the screen. If I click on that, I can see the column attributes for rating, and I want to do the same thing here. I want to change display as to named list of values, and in my list of value section, I want to change that to rating. If I scroll up and say apply attributes, and then apply changes, I can now run this form, and you can see that I now have the drop down boxes for lists of values in the two columns that I was looking at. Since I created this form and gave my end users update, delete, and insert capabilities, you can see that I have remove record, which is my delete button, submit, which is my update button, and I also have this add row button here on the bottom right of the screen. If I took away any of those capabilities in the form, these buttons would not show up in my generated page that you're seeing here. I want to show you one more cool thing that goes along with forms. It's a way of adding a bunch of really cool functionality to your application without needing any programming skill whatsoever. If I go back and I say edit page 23 here at the bottom of the screen, if I double click on update movie records and then select report attributes, I can scroll down and you'll see this section called report export. I can enable end users to export the data that they see in their application into a CSV file. All I have to do is click on yes, and then give the link label a meaningful name. If I scroll back up and select apply changes, and then run the page again, you'll see I now have this export movie records link here at the bottom of my screen. If I click on that, Oracle will go ahead and automatically export all of the records that have been selected as part of this form and put them into a CSV file for me. If I then select the CSV file, you can see it's pulled up automatically inside of Excel. It's a really cool way of giving your end users some really cool functionality without having to know any programming tricks whatsoever.